So here we are, Pocket Gamer, E3's ended, it's very sad. Chris James, uh, RMD, uh, it's very, very sad. Look at him. I'm, 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 I'm ecstatic, I'm ecstatic. Do you sad face, home. Chris? Okay. I don't have a sad face. You don't have a sad face, no. Very, very enthusiastic all the time. So, so you've been to E3 a number of times now. How, how was this E3 different? What, what, was, what was going on? Uh, I don't know. Everybody said it was smaller than before. I think it's bigger than last year. But I, I think the interesting thing to me is it's a bit of a year of kind of... Uh, it's like a year of transition this year. Like, cause the big T. The big T. Well, it's yeah. the move of all these things that are moving towards the um, console. Oh! Oh, I like it. <laughs> but no, but maybe it, it feels like people, the, the game's moving free to play, it's coming into the consoles, these unconsoles yeah. coming out. There's a bit of mobile appearing on the show for here and there, but it's strutted in. But it, I don't think anybody's really there yet. Like, nobody's got, it's like a, E3's kind of getting halfway towards what's happening. It's, it's I don't know, it just feels like it's it, here, it's waiting for next year, we're going to see if any of this works, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got stuff like, like the shield thing with instance from Nvidia is really, you know, it's kind of interesting. Chris, will you be buying a shield? Will I, you be spending the big I bucks on the shield? Be, I will probably not be buying a shield uh, uh, or a sword. No, I, I think it's it's obviously a tech demo, isn't it? I mean, I think it's, yeah. it's interesting, but it's, it's not the prettiest piece of equipment. So, 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 kind of your E3 is a bit different to mine, so I, I spend a lot of time playing games. You spend a lot of time behind the scenes talking to the guys with yeah, the, yeah, the, the big, the big, the big right. money. So, so what kind of trends are you seeing there? What, you know, what kind of companies are coming in? What kind of... I mean, the, I mean, obviously, you know, we see mobile companies, so there's a lot of people... Yeah, there's, sorry, there's my sales sorry. manager. Sorry, sales manager. Uh, uh, come on, let's... let's I've got to focus, focus on that. A white Mustang, very cool, very cool, Alex. That's, yeah. that's, that's my sales manager. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> you do donuts. Can you cut this out? <laughs> so, I think, you know, seeing a lot of the mobile guys, obviously CPI is very big at the moment, a lot of people are kind of, yeah. it's all about user acquisition as it is everywhere else. I mean, I think there's a lot of samey games. I mean, the interesting thing, I'm, like, everybody's doing a free to play game that's, mm. that looks kind of, Similar to me, which I think is is a problem in waiting. There didn't seem to be many things that I saw or approaches that I saw yeah. were different. I, everybody's going to do what are you doing? Well, I'm a, a PC online company doing mobile games yeah. now, and a lot of them were very casual, you know, little empire building things or little, you know, yeah. casual match things. It, it, there was there's very few things that went wow, that's really kind of different. Mm. So. Uh, so, so the conclusion I'm getting is the guys who are going into mobile need to do something that's different to what's out there. It I just think there's going to be a lot of people learning the lessons that everybody else has already learned, you know, yeah. and I think that's my salesman's game. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, Alex. Thank you very much. <laughs> Off he goes. He's going to Las Vegas, so that'll be the last we see of him. Uh, so, yeah, I, I think I think this this whole cycle of, like, people have been in the, in the, the mobile industry for a while doing, learned things and kind of gone on, and there's a whole new people bunch of people coming in from the console world or yeah. from PC world and they're all kind of back here in the cycle learning lessons or actually in the case of the, the kind of Korean companies and the Asian companies maybe a bit forward in the cycle because their domestic yeah, markets are uh, more, more advanced in some ways, things like Kakao Talk and Line and all these, they've mm. kind of gone past the store, they're not even thinking about no, exactly. app stores no. in the same way, yeah. they're, they're thinking about social, social promotion. So. So yeah, I, I I don't know. It's weird. It's, there's so many things kind of going on. There's so many inflection points. And uh, then, hold and hold on, inflection points. But at the same time, yeah. at the same time, if you looked at came in to look at it, you go, oh look, there again is another big box from Sony's. The Sony the massive stand, Microsoft massive stand. They are quite large boxes. They, Microsoft is the biggest box ever. It's the it's the Xbox. It's the Y box, you know. <laughs> but it's um the Y box. Oh, I'm upset as Microsoft. <laughs> But no, it's, if you look at it just from the top, you go, look, it's all the same again. It's the same old thing, three consoles battling out. And that's kind of what, to be honest, and the big EA showing off their yeah. sports license exhibition doing this. That's what E3 is all about. But actually below, if you get down mm. looking really, the whole market is changing, the revenue market is changing. You know, it's people like Wargaming are doing... But, but it, so in terms of mobile, the big companies... Sorry, yes. Go yeah, back to mobile. No, no. Are we in the mobile market? Uh, oh, apparently we are. Yeah. But go back to mobile. So, so the big companies are Gung Ho, Supercell and King. Not, they here, not really here at all. Here not really very prominent, no, were they? Yeah, so. I think Supercell, Ilka was off, off picking up some sort of founder of the year award from... The, in London. In London, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. good. And yeah. guys, there's a couple of people from King here. I didn't see any Gung Ho people. I, I think you're right. But, but it, I mean, is E3 the right place for mobile or does mobile need its own E3? I think... Well, <laughs> it's just you say, maybe there should be a dedicated massive show about mobile games. Yeah. I think the opportunity arises is watch this space. Yeah. Uh, but I, I think I think E3 kind of wants to be the show of mobile, it wants to be the yeah. show of everything, and mobile's the new trend. But it's 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 hard because you don't need a big stand. Like Gree had a big stand last year, we yeah. did, but 
But what did they really get out of that? I mean, what was, what that was, was a big surprise. Both those companies had big stands and not and no. And, and, and it's yeah. not like okay, you know, Gree Gree haven't exactly disappeared as a company. They're, no. they're, you know, they've not had a great time of year, but they're, they're not. They're still here they're, and they're making yeah. a lot of money, and, and we made probably making far more money, but yeah. they're not here anymore. Mm. So you've got to imagine that's because they didn't find it particularly useful, you know. Mm. And, and, and an think, inflection point. Well, I just I just don't think it's the right sort of show. It's 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 you know this is a show of big 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 screens and big graphics and everything. It's it's much more like a cinematic thing. I think mobile's again, I much more pervasive and everywhere. And I don't know. It's, I don't I just don't know if E3 is the right show for mobile. Okay. I think E3 wants to be, but I don't think it is. So. Cool. On that point, thank you very much, Chris. Thank you very much. So E3 is over. Very sad. Not really. It's a sad day. It's a sad. It's a sad. It's a sad Thursday. Yeah. But uh, we've been at, we've been at E3 all week. But Matt, it was your, it was your first E3. Yep. So how did how did, how did you find the uh, the incredible cacophony of <laughs> craziness that is E3? It's uh it's murder on your feet. It's murder <laughs> on your feet. Murder on your shoulders. Murder on your mind. It's just. <laughs> It's just. I'm, I'm getting murder as a, as a kind yes. of concept there. It's hellacious and wonderful all at once. It's just. It's way easier to be behind a keyboard or a screen, just processing it all, rather than just be in the trenches, having to yeah. process everything that comes at you. But did you enjoy it? Oh, absolutely. Okay, cool. Wouldn't have traded the experience. And the important thing is obviously the game. So, so you've spent the last three days bombing around. Mm -hmm playing a whole bunch of games that no one else has played. Correct. Anything kind of jump out at you? Any trends? Any particularly kind of cool games? Um, I don't know. I gotta say, the, the Vita really kind of impressed me with what they were showing. Uh, Tearaway looked really great from what I saw of it. A lot of good indie games on that as well. Yeah. Um, didn't play with any of the console stuff, obviously, but for the mobile, um, Magic the Gathering Duel of Planeswalkers 2014 looks really polished. They're putting a lot of good changes into that one. Mm. Um, Man of Steel was a bit of a miss that one you know it'll ho that, that's quite that's quite fighty isn't it it's very it's like a fighting rhythm game superman fans will probably like it and rhythm game fans will probably like it but uh, i don't know i didn't really blow my skirt up too much okay i have to, I have to say you're not actually wearing a skirt you're wearing trousers yes i am wearing trousers okay let the record show that, that was a metaphor yes i didn't <laughs> blow my trousers up either and obviously you're you're personally you're a big 3ds fan so anything there catch your eye yeah uh nintendo did uh sony a lot of favors with the 3ds because trying to get any hands-on time with 3DS title was completely mental <laughs> at the Nintendo booth because the 3DS was tied up with their little swag pavilion and uh, so you had to wait in line for two hours to get your hands on the unit. So I didn't actually play any 3DS games at uh, so, E3. So a win, a win for Vita, I'm uh, saying. A very good win for Vita, yes. And then anything else on the mobile side? Anything else on the mobile side? Uh, Walking Dead, 400 days. Definitely ah. one to look forward to. Okay. Um, that will be coming out this summer and um, a lot of good polish. A lot of, it'll kind of bridge the gap between seasons one and seasons two. So I think there's a lot of things that Walking Dead fans will be excited about there. Cool, good. And so your plans for the rest of the uh, rest of the week and the weekend? Bit of bit of R and R. Yeah, definitely oh. soaking my feet, soaking my shoulders. Uh, my wife is going to go run a half marathon this weekend, so I'm going okay. to cheerlead her, and then <laughs> we're both going to go limp off somewhere to recuperate. <laughs> Sounds very sensible. Thanks, Matt. Thank you. Okay, so Pocket Gamer we're at E3, although technically E3 is over now. So I, I guess we're just we're Pocket Gamer in in Los Angeles now. Um, it's been a hardcore three days. We're interviewing the Pocket Gamer, some of the Pocket Gamer people. Chloe, how did you find E3? Uh, E3 felt like back in the old days, all about console being announced. Console? What? Well, we don't care about consoles. But it was. <laughs> it was. Last year, everyone thought console would dead, and it was the year of mobile. And this year, it was a bit of a reverse, but um, but still a lot of mobile people. We had okay. an excellent Pocket Gamer party. <laughs> Um, it was good. Yeah. Proof that mobile isn't going anywhere. Um, but it, I mean, it's just kind of funny because obviously the, the, the headline stuff and the, the big screens are all about consoles, and certainly yep. this year. But there's still a lot of other kind of business and a lot of mobile people kind of around around the show. There's a huge undercurrent yeah. of mobile, yeah. and even the big guys. You know, you go on the Square Enix stand, and you've got Deus Ex on tablets, and uh, you've got all the kind of handheld aspects, even from Sony and, yeah. and like. So it's not. Pure mobile, but there's definitely okay. an undercurrent that's still going on. So you, you just said you've been going. You, this is your like kind of eighth or ninth E3 or something. I mean, 
does E three still have a have a purpose? Is it, is it kind of like a just? Is it like a dinosaur or is it? it is, I have a bit of good? a love hate relationship. with, with <laughs> I think E3. everyone does. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, uh, I I like going because you see a lot of people in one place, and that's yeah. so so helpful. Um, but it's exhausting. It's loud. It's doing business in a nightclub environment. Um, I think it serves a purpose for, for, for the big guys. I'm not sure how much yeah. it helps the smaller guys. Yeah. Um, do we, do we, could we have an E3 just for mobile? Would that, would that work? Would that just not... Would, would it be a bit different? Because you you, you, you're playing on your iPad, you wouldn't be on the big screen. You know, be... Some people have actually been bringing up that in conversations I've been having about okay. doing a, a mobile consumer-focused kind of okay. event. You'd have to find the right venue because, like you say, you can't have the big screen and you know, yeah. having lots of tablets lining up is not exactly awesome. But um, I don't know. You've got a lot of stuff to connect to big screen TVs now with mobile games. Exactly. So that could that could that could work. Yeah. Well, you heard it here first. E three for mobile. In a couple of years time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Introduced by Pocket Gamer. <laughs> <laughs> that would be good. Cool. Thanks. You're welcome. So E three is over. Pocket Gamer has been at E three. It's all over. How's it been, Alex? So, yes. You're, th you're 33. This is my 33 in a row. Um, we're here at Bottle Rock, which was the scene of our party. Our, cl uh, our classic party. Our classic parties on Tuesday so. night. There was a drink until it ran out, and uh, that was quite late, actually, it ran out. There was uh, someone trying to order a $200 <laughs> bottle of wine. Someone tried to order a $200 bottle of wine. That's good. Obviously, Impressive. luckily, Chris James will be happy about this. It was blocked by the bar staff, so, you know, <laughs> that's always good for Pocket Gamer. But was it not Chris James buying it? it it, unsurprised wearing a wig or something, something like <laughs> it was a, a fake beard. They had a very crazy shirt on, somebody said, and a really yeah. loud shirt. A really so loud shirt, so it couldn't have been Chris. Really. <laughs> no, it doesn't, doesn't make any sense. He, he's very aesthetic. Plain white, plain yeah, exactly. white, yeah, white yeah. suit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, E3 was great. Um, for me, I work on the sales side, so it wasn't more about the games, but the trends that I saw, I spoke to a lot of Chinese, Japanese, Korean developers, yeah. um, a lot of them trying to introduce their, their games that work great in their territories into a US and European market. Um, you know, really, really needing help with that, needing to talk to other developers and talk mm. to people like Pocket Gamer to try and establish how they can do that best. Okay. Um, lots of meetings like that. Saw some cool things, saw the PS4, saw the Xbox One. Yeah. Both look aesthetically pretty cool. Um, massive. Large, large consoles. Large. Yeah, basically yeah. Back, to, back to the days of VCRs, uh, <laughs> but it's actually a console inside. What is a VCR? Some of our audience will not, not know a what a VCR is. You used to get this plastic <laughs> tape and it had a reel in it and you put it in and you played that and it played for 90 minutes but you could also turn it round oh. sometimes and it would play the other way or was that cassettes? That was a cassette. I, I, okay that was cassettes. <laughs> <laughs> so Fiona how, how did you find E3? You're a, well, yeah, it was, it was kind of a, a, a different experience I guess. A completely different experience um, I probably can't give you as much specific information or uh, feedback as Alex but from my point of view as an E3 newbie and completely fresh eyes it was amazing. <laughs> but it's quite very loud and big. Very loud, big and very loud. overstimulating, um, in a good way. Uh, yeah, it was much. It was bigger than I imagined in every way as well. Yeah. Um, brilliant to see like that. Yeah, new PlayStation, new Xbox. So, yeah, I really enjoyed it. What? Great time. Did you get, did you get a and you got you got stuff. You got, what did picture? you get a picture with? Loads on the Nintendo stand. Oh yeah, yeah, I got a picture uh, actually in Mario Kart. Uh, she sat in the Mario Kart. Mario Kart there was a Mari the yeah. Mario Kart. And got yeah. the Nintendo and picture. It. it was cool. very old it was school. Good. That yeah, it was. Yeah, that, that's where right. I got it. Everyone loves Nintendo. Mario Kart. That, yeah. that never goes out of fashion. So I was straight over to Nintendo. Okay. Got a nice soft carpet over there. Yeah, she, she was particularly impressed with the carpets on the stand. Oh yeah. really? Take your shoes off to go into the carpet. Yeah, they were very, that's, very deep. That's an attention to detail. That's good. Exactly. There you go. That's She said that so that Nintendo had the better carpet over Sony, is that they right? Nintendo, I have to say, I agree, Nintendo always has the best carpet. A plush, a plush yeah. carpet, very I would deep. say, yes. Yeah, it's yeah. Uh, so yeah, that was brilliant. Though I was very excited by the whole thing. I'm a bit sad it's over, but I suppose you can't do that for really? very long. You can only do that for a few days. But, but then you got some swag. Some, some, I got loads some of growing things. swag. I got um, some uh, seeds yeah, from uh, plant zombies. 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 Yeah, so, so got, yeah. what kind of seeds are you, are you kind of worried that you might not I get back through the customs? Snapdragons, uh, cannabis. Uh, <laughs> 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 okay. No. no. 
Yeah. No illegal seeds were given out. No illegal seeds were given out by E3 no, or No, sunflower seeds and nice things like that. And will you, will you be time? Give us some time in there. Yeah, and it's wrapped up in there, coloured in sort of paper. You actually can plant the paper. Yeah, it looks like old time. And will, will you be planting those seeds when you get back to the UK? Of course. Of if, course. I get them, if I manage to get them out, because it comes under that whole flora and fauna. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, there is, there is like a legal issue there. <laughs> so that's great. You, you, you went to a big loud show and I you got plants. I got some seeds, so yeah, I can go to E3 again. <laughs> cool. Thank you very much. No worries.